today I'm reviewing the Glam Glow Bright Eyes Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I will never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com or click on the Amazon link below. So this is a newer product. It came out during the Sephora sale, and I had to pick it up. Just after scanning the ingredient list, it looked pretty good. So it was on sale. So let's see. Glam Glow calls this an energizing eye cream that brightens dark circles and, re and reduces visible signs of fatigue. Ooh for glowing, well-rested eyes. So that is true, I guess we'll find out. Uh, so onto my first criteria, which is packaging. And I love the box, the box is cool. I like the rose gold packaging, but the jar isn't my favorite way to package products, especially ones that contain beneficial ingredients and antioxidants because uh, when they're exposed and opened up over and over again, they uh, quickly degrade in effectiveness. That's why I keep the little thing on. And I did notice that in my time using this, the cream has kind of went from really creamy to slightly starting to dry out. So although there are preservatives in here to kind of prevent a lot of bad things from happening. So I just would have been a little bit happier with a pump or even an airless jar uh, to package this and protect the good ingredients. Because there are some good ones in here, which for Glam Glow isn't always true. So um, on to my second criteria, which is alcohol. This does not contain denatured or drying types of alcohol. It does have a couple good fatty types of alcohol, which is cetyl and ceteral alcohol, which are uh, the good non-drying types of alcohol. So uh, denatured or drying types of alcohol can cause free radical damage, especially on the eye area where the eyes can be very sensitive. So it's very good that they didn't include that in their product. So they did a good job on that. My third criteria is fragrance. And this one, shockingly for Glam Glow, really has no scent to it. And it's even better because I recently have been trying a few new eye creams out. And which one was it? I can't remember yet. Uh, anyway, one of them had just so much overwhelming fragrance in it. And my eyes were watering all night with it on. So Glam Glow did a really good job on this one and not including any fragrance or scent to it. So I'm surprised because Glam Glow does tend to throw in fragrance whenever they can. And they did a really good job with this one. My fourth criteria is the manufacturing location, and this one is made in the U.S., so uh, no issues at all with that. Uh, ease of use. So this eye cream, you can use it under the eyes, and you can use it around the eyes and on the eyelid, which I like because my eyelids tend to get very dry, especially like in the winter time, or if I've been using a lot of eyeshadow, some of them tend to be very drying on the skin all the way around your eye. So I do like the fact that this can be used all over the entire eye area, uh, using like a ring finger is probably the easiest way to use it and uh, just patting it on is the easiest way. I find using this in the evening is, I just like using it in the evening a little bit better because it is kind of creamy and it does take a few minutes to like fully set. So, and then in the evening, I'm not really concerned with my eyes looking super bright, but in my opinion, the brightening effect of this one is a little overstated. There are some which do a little bit better job of that but this one definitely does a good job hydrating skin it just doesn't do much in terms of like really brightening the skin so uh, ease of use very easy to use and uh, you can layer it if you use other products around your eyes or on your whole face uh, no issues with that it tends to play well with other products and doesn't pill a lot of eye creams can be kind of pilling if you use other layers of skincare even around there so there's no issues at all with that uh, and if you do choose to use it in the daytime, it tends to play well under foundation and doesn't cause any creasing or issues like that. So very easy to use. I was very happy with that. Okay, on to antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So I just picked out the ones that are pretty high up on the list and the ones that are the best. So uh, we've got shea butter, sodium hyaluronic caffeine so i know some people are very sensitive to caffeine which does help with like puffiness a little bit so just be aware that that is in there in a higher up amount uh, vitamin e and then we've got aminopropyl ascorbyl phosphate which is a stable form of vitamin c so that'll be good for brightening skin uh, we've got some peptides uh, chamomile melon fruit extract avocado oil for good hydration cholesterol which is also very good for hydration uh, watermelon extract, uh, algae, good uh, good antioxidant, lentil extract, and then apple fruit extract. And there's 
a little bit more, but I just picked out the ones that are in the most abundance. So they did a very good job in picking out a good uh, list of ingredients and beneficial ingredients for the eye hairs. So they did a very good job with that. My seventh criteria is animal testing, and the Glam Globe brand is gluten-free but not cruelty-free. So they went by Estee Lauder, I think. Pretty sure of that. So most of Estee Lauder brands aren't cruelty free. So maybe that will be changing. It's always disappointing when I see that. Okay, in terms of performance, it's very hydrating, only slightly on the actual brightening side. It does feel super uh, moisturizing, not a ton of real anti-aging properties. And it really didn't do a ton for like dark circles. It did a little bit for puffiness, but not a ton for dark circles. A lot of those are pretty genetic and there's not a lot really you can do other than like cover them up uh so but definitely this one is in my opinion much more hydrating and moisturizing than it does anything else which is fine by me because my eyes are always super dry but if you're looking for anti-aging definitely pick out like a good retinol eye cream uh, first day beauty makes a good one that might be worth checking out but really this one just firms it a little bit and hydrates which is definitely for me, that's enough to really think it performed nicely. Okay, on to price. So this is the full size, which is half an ounce, and it retails for $39. So it's pretty pricey because the second you open up, you got to start using it till, you're, till it's gone because you can't just open it up and then not use it for three months and then open it up because by that point, it's going to be a big chunk of nothing. There's one product I did that with, and when I open up the next time, there's nothing in the jar. It was a Pavonia product, and my mom had given it to me. I used it a couple times, then I sealed the jar, put it back in, forgot about it for like two months, and then I opened up. There's literally nothing left in that jar. I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. So if this had been packaged in a tube or something, I probably wouldn't have been as harsh on the price because the tube gives you a little bit longer to really use it and have a lot of benefits from the ingredients. But this, the second you open it, all the good stuff slowly degrades to nothing. So... And then uh, on my 10th criteria, which is the It Factor, decent eye cream, nothing totally unique or different than a lot of other eye creams out there, but good for hydrating around the entire eye area, which is nice. Love that, really has no noticeable scent. I do wish it was better packaged, a little bit more affordable and cruelty-free. So still a decent product. So I gave this a 6 out of 10, which is okay. A couple small changes uh, would have drastically given this a different review, but uh, anyway, still happy. I'll definitely continue to use it until it's gone. So uh, anyway, I'm interested if you guys have a chance to check this out or if you have a favorite eye cream, what is it and why do you like it? So definitely uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, check out nobsbeauty.com and the Amazon link below. And thank you guys so much.